New York, no Colin Sexton, no problem. When Sexton, the Cleveland Cavaliers' leading scorer, injured his knee in the first half of Sunday's game and couldn't return against the New York Knicks, it seemed like Cleveland's latest here we go again moment. Not this time. Not this team. Not this year. The Cavs overcame another obstacle, beating the Knicks, 126 to 109. They have won four straight and look mighty comfortable in this new role of NBA giant killer. Injuries played part in Cleveland derailing after last season's fast start. But the Cavs are deeper now. With Sexton in the locker room, they were suddenly missing four members of their usual rotation for the final 24 minutes. Lowry Markkanen, health and safety protocols, Kevin Love, health and safety protocols, and Isaac Okoro, strain left hamstring, were already sidelined. Another injury was too much to overcome on the road in the back and forth game against a playoff team, right? Guess not. Veteran Ricky Rubio, usually the team's sixth man, started the second half, and spearheaded their latest victory that has many around the league taking notice. Rubio scored a career-high 37 points, including 26 in the second half, on 13 of 19 from the field and 8 of 9 from three-point range to go with 10 assists and 3 rebounds and 31 jaw-dropping minutes. He is the first player in NBA history to post at least 30 points and 10 assists while making 8 threes off the bench. That's why we fought to get him here, Cavs coach J. B. Bickerstaff said of Rubio. We know what he's capable of and how good of a player he is. When that gets going, and when it turns on, he's capable of what he did tonight. He flat out put on a show. And he willed us to a win. Rocky Evan Mobley, in his first game at Madison Square Garden, didn't look faced under the bright lights. Mobley scored a career-best 26 points on 11 of 15 shooting, including 2 of 4 from deep. Mobley also had 9 rebounds. 5 assists, 1 steal and a block, becoming the first rookie with that stat line since Blake Griffin in 2011. The Cavs outscored New York by 26 points with Mobley on the floor. Jared Allen, 18 points, and Darius Garland, 16, also reached double figures. Dylan Windler drilled a trio of triples off the bench. The first half featured 13 lead changes and 7 ties. Behind Rubio, the Cavs finally gained control in the third quarter, outscoring New York, 33-18. They kept piling on in the fourth. Cleveland won the second half, 70-52. The Cavs made a season-high 19 three-pointers. They shot 54.3% from deep, had 31 assists on 49 made shots. We keep talking about it, but they're all into one another, Bickerstaff said. I mean, there are no outliers with their own individual agendas. Guys that played different minutes, they've played different roles, we've closed with different lineups, 